name is Dr. Thomas Domenis and I'm a biomaterial scientist. I'd like to introduce my recent review article titled Natural Polymers with Bioactive Glass Editors for Bone Regeneration, Chemistry and Trends, recently published in the Natural Products Journal. The aim of this article was to review recent studies on two very abundant natural polymers, chitosan and gelatin. A little bit about bones. Bones serve a very important function in the body because they provide lifelong mechanical support to the various structures. Bones can degenerate, unfortunately, due to natural aging or disease. Bone tissue may not sometimes regenerate by itself without an intervention if the injury site is large and or the fracture is very severe. Therefore, we need an intervention such as a bone scaffold to facilitate the regeneration of it. Now some of these scaffolds are made using natural polymers uh, such as chitosan. Chitosan is derived from chitin which was discovered in 1811 by a French professor. It is the second most abundant natural polymer found on earth. It is present in various forms of organisms such as fungi, crustaceans, algae. For these reasons it is highly sustainable. Uh, deacetylation of chitin produces a highly soluble derivative called chitosan. Now there are four main stages in the production of bone scaffolds from natural polymers using a bioactive glass uh, as an additive. So stage number one is the sourcing of the polymer. Stage number two is the development of the bioglass. Stage number three is the development of the composite i.e. bioglass and natural polymer, uh, cross-linking, setting, freeze drying, and the last stage is the implantation in a, a bone defect. Now the review highlights. Now some of the properties of biopolymer matrices with bioactive glass additives are discussed in this review. Uh, the cross-linking agents and associated chemistry is also discussed. The chemistry between the harboring matrix and the bioactive glass is extensively discussed and some successful in vivo studies are presented. Uh, the review identified two areas for future research. So area number one is the development of novel cross-linking agents because the review identified that sometimes the mechanical properties of the developed composite materials may not be necessarily suitable for load-bearing applications. And the second area uh, for uh, future research is the standardization of methodology, which is required to align with the clinical needs and requirements. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope that the video inspires you to work on natural polymers and please feel free to contact me if you have any questions.